When we installed TWRP as the custom recovery on the Moto G4, one of the most useful features for a custom recovery that I mentioned was the ability to create what is called a Nandroid backup. We're creating a backup of the NAND storage. And that's what I want to show you how to do today. So naturally before you can do this, you will need to unlock the bootloader. You will need to install a custom recovery. You won't need root access, but as the as I did yesterday in the video, I did root the device, but it is not required. So to start, we need to boot into recovery mode. I'm going to use this app since I have root access. If you're unsure of how to boot into recovery mode without root access or without that app, then be sure to check the description below this video, and I'll have a link to the full tutorial, which will have detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to boot into recovery mode as well as how to unlock the bootloader and how to install TWRP. So once we boot into recovery mode, we need to tap on the backup option. Now, as you can see, I have previously created an Android backup. I did this yesterday before I rooted the Moto G4. And this is something you should just get in the habit of doing. If you are about to install a major root modification like um, exposed framework or even just an exposed module or a custom kernel, a custom ROM, and various root applications as well, it's just a good idea to have a recent Nandroid backup just in case you don't like the changes that were made or in case the change or the modification caused your device to go into a boot loop. So again we're going to tap on the backup option then we're going to make sure all four of these partitions are highlighted and checked and I suggest to create a name something that is easy easy to remember and easy to distinguish what it is like on the other one I labeled I labeled it stock because it's the stock firmware. It's not a custom ROM or anything. I labeled that it has TWRP installed. And on this one, I'm going to label that it is rooted as well. And I'm also going to append the date because in a week, when I create another one, I will name it stock TWRP root as well but when I append the date, I'll know which one is new and which one is old. So once you have that done, I'm, you're just going to tap on the blue check button at the bottom right. And from here, we can choose if we want to select a certain storage, whether it be micro SD card or over a USB OTG cable for a thumb drive. We're just going to keep it on the eternal storage for now. We can come in here to, not, to the options to enable compression so that it's not as big as normal. And if you want, you can even encrypt it. I'm just going to enable compression so it's not as big. And once you have all that set up, we're just going to swipe the white arrows to the right to confirm. And then it's going to begin the backup process. You're going to see some information here. It tells us the total size of the data that we're backing up is 3.8 gigabytes and the, the available space on our device is 4.9 gigabytes. I'm sorry, 49 gigabytes. So we have plenty of space for this backup. And then it's going to tell us exactly where it's backing up this data. So it's in the twerps the TWRP backups folder. 
and then it tells you what it's currently working on. So right now it's backing up the system partition. If you remember, we checked all four of the available partitions, and right now it's working on the system partition. So I'm going to pause the video and then let this run, and then once it gets closer to the end, I'll bring you back in. So you can see we are now at 90% of the overall backup. So far the Moto G4 has backed up the system partition. It then created the MD5 for that partition, which it will use whenever you do a restore to make sure the data has not become corrupt. Currently it is backing up the data partition. And it's at 96% now for that specific partition. Again, it will create an MD5 for that specific partition. And then it's going to back up both the cache and the boot partitions. And again, create the MD5 for those. So once that has been completed, unless you need to do anything else, like if you want to restore or do something else from Twerp, you can go ahead and press the home button and that'll take you to the TWRP main menu. But as long as you're done and you just want to boot back into Android, just simply tap on the reboot system button. And you'll see that the Moto G4 will reboot. We'll go through the typical boot animation sequence. And then it will be right back at Android.